I'm Mr. Ward and today we'll be learning how to start an MLA paper using Google Docs. From any Google product, click on the cube menu and drop down and click on Drive. Start by clicking the New button, select a Google Doc from a template. Google Docs provides you with a number of templates. To find this easily, hold down Control and tap the F key, then type in MLA. If you scroll down a little ways, you'll find under the Education heading that there is an MLA report right here. Click on that and it will start a new document. Replace each line with the actual information that you need and fill in the date. Change your title and begin typing. Additionally, you'll need to add your last name, a comma and a space to the header just before the page number. In an MLA paper, you'll need to cite the source of all your information. Scroll down to the Works Cited page. On the right, you will see an EasyBib add-on for Google Docs. Click on the blue Add to Docs button. Google will ask permission to add this. Select your account, scroll down, and click Allow. Finally, click on the Use button. Should you ever lose your Cite a Source add-on, click on the drop-down menu under Add-ons and select EasyBib Bibliography Creator. It's back. In this example, I have a fact about dogs, and my source comes from Encyclopedia Britannica, an online encyclopedia. And if I scroll down, I'll find the source of my fact about dogs being bodyguards against predators. The source of my article is this URL. Copy and paste this into our EasyBib add-on. Select the URL, hold Control, and press C to copy. Come back to EasyBib, select Website, and hold Control and press V to paste in the URL. Click Search, and EasyBib will find your source. We see it right here, Encyclopedia Britannica. Click Select. It will then create a citation for us. Click Add Bibliography to Doc. Now if we scroll down to our Works Cited page, you'll see that there's a new citation. As you add more citations, they'll be added alphabetically. Since the author's last name is Vanacore, you will need to add this inside parentheses after we use our fact. In addition to websites, you can also quote books, journal articles, and other sources. You can also select the MLA citation style. Google Docs does a great job of saving everything as you type. To set the file name, copy your title and paste it into the title up here. To send your paper to your teacher, click File, come down to Email as Attachment, select the format you'd like to send them. PDF will work in most cases. If they need to make changes themselves, send it in an editable format. Enter their email address, include your name in the subject line, and click Send. If you need to print your paper, click File and come down to Print. A file will be downloaded and when you open that you can send it to your printer. Thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments. Please like and subscribe to help others find this video. Remember, we don't say I can't, we say I haven't. I'm Mr. Ward. Keep reading.